Hi, I'm Jackie Stapleton and welcome to Atoll TV. If you've made it here, it means that you might just love ISO standards as much as me and you are truly interested and possibly excited about learning more about them. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to cover clause 8.1, operational planning and control. I'm going to break this clause down and turn it into something you can all understand. You'll then be able to apply this to your own organization system and understand what the requirements will look like for you. No more guessing. Keep on watching as I can show you just how easy this is. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at what clause 8.1 wants us to do. First off, the clause states that, the organization shall plan, implement, control, and maintain the processes needed to meet requirements of the OHS management system and to implement the actions determined in clause six by A, establishing criteria for the processes, B, implementing control of the processes in accordance with the criteria. This means that the organization needs to define how the processes will be carried out and the requirements that need to be met to ensure conformance with OHS requirements. They must also have measures in place to monitor and control the processes to ensure that they are being carried out as intended and to identify and address any non-conformities. By establishing and controlling these processes, the organization can ensure that they are meeting their OHS objectives and overall OHS commitments from clause six. This operational control may be in the form of procedures and systems of work, competence of workers, establishing preventive maintenance and inspection checks, or procurement of goods and services with specified requirements. Then this clause goes on to C, maintaining and retaining documented information to the extent necessary to have confidence that the processes have been carried out as planned, and D, adapting work to workers, and finally, at multi-employer workplaces, the organization shall coordinate the relevant parts of the OHS management system with the other organizations. This means that the processes you have developed need to be maintained as documented information. So the procedures you are following need to be documented, whether this is in hard copy, electronic, or within software systems or platforms. The how to do it needs to be documented and accessible to the users. Additionally, there is a requirement to retain documented information as well. This means that if you determine that records are required as evidence that the procedures are being used or followed, then you should retain documented evidence of this. When establishing these clause requirements, we also need to take into account the adaptation of work to workers, which could be induction of new workers, clearly defining processes and work environments, which includes how the work is organized, and considering OHS hazards and risks when designing new or modifying workstations or providing new equipment. This of course would link to clause 6121, hazard identification. And of course, where a workplace includes multiple employers, so this could be on a construction site, or it could be in a shared workspace or office building. The operation of the OHS management system needs to be coordinated between all of the employers and its workers. This is important in shared workspaces as one employer's activities can or do impact the other. It is also important to ensure that workers are involved in the development of all operational processes to ensure they are part of decision-making, feedback, and improvements. 
Now that I've explained all of these requirements, can you see more clearly how you could action and demonstrate these requirements in your own management system? Thank you so much for joining me. Clearly, you are truly dedicated to learning more about ISO standards. I love having you learn with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Auditor Training Online is a recognized training provider and we know how it works in the real world. So we are confident that we can help you to make a change in your life and join the most sought after profession out there. Go to our website and enroll in our training to transform your work and industry experience into a recognized qualification and career. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Atoll TV and leave a comment or question as I truly do want to help you to join the best career out there with me. Mm -hmm.